Okay, watch me transform these black slouch socks into these very pretty, trendy, blingy, customized junk socks. Keep watching this video. Hey YouTube, so today in this video, I'm going to be customizing um, two pair actually of slouch socks, junk slots, glam socks, bling socks, charm socks, whatever you wanna call them. So first of all, I'm, I like to get everything that I want to put on the sock first. And I'm going to be also making a couple charms. So I'm gonna use some UV resin. And I have these cute little bear molds. If you watch my videos, I adore these bears. They're super cute and you can just make them in any color you want. I like to use glitter. Now this other mold here, you can get that on Amazon as well. It's like these cute little glitter domes. It's like a half dome. And they make the cutest little brooches to me. I just really love these. And I'm using this very pretty glitter. It's called Grape. Um, and I got that from Michaels. It's by uh, Recollections. When I purchased it, it was $7.99. So I don't know if it went up again or if that's the price. But um, I love Recollection glitters. I especially love the chunky confetti glitters. And you see this one is like has like a little holographic look to it. It's like bits of of purple but also bits of blue and I already picked out those cute little um, safety pin with the black pearls on them now those I got those from Timu so you can get I think about maybe 20 on Timu for about six bucks or something like that you can also get like an assortment of those from Sheen also Okay, so now that I've let this um, cure for a couple minutes, what I'm going to do is unmold that, and I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm gonna show you how I'm going to turn this into a brooch, you guys. It's very simple, I've done this in previous videos, but you may be new to this channel, so I'm just gonna pop all these out, and then I'll show you. These are those little half circle domes. Very pretty, and this is a great way to customize socks for your customers, for yourself, your children, or whoever based on the colors that they like you don't have to go out there and search or go online and search for colors you can just make these of course you could buy some like i bought those safety pins but if you can make some of your um your brooches why not so what you'll need are these bar pins for these smaller little domes um i'm going to use some bob smith glue for the smaller domes i'm going to use a 15 millimeter bar pin and for that bigger bear, I am going to use a 25 millimeter bar pin and I'm gonna make the pin go up and down, um, vertical. If you do it horizontal, it may dip forward. So that's just something that I had to learn making my own brooches. Like, okay, why is it dipping forward? So the heavier items, you definitely wanna go vertical with your bar pin if you're able to do so. Now, Bob Smith is excellent. It cures, it, it sets in in 60 seconds and it fully cures in three hours. However, I want that quick lockdown and I also want some reassurance. So this is just a little backup. I go on top of the glue that I already put on the bar pin with the UV resin because it cures under that lamp in seconds. That's why I'm using both. You don't have to do that. That's just my little secret I'm just giving you. I made these with bar pins on the back of those. I use 15 millimeter for those. And these already locked and loaded. I made these before the video even started. Now, I have these luxury brooches. Super adorable. Um, I actually have a vendor's list as to where I purchased them. If you ever purchased the vendor's list for the Crocs charms, it's the same vendor, you guys. So it's the same vendor. But I do have um brooches for the socks i have different sets on my website that you can purchase if you want to buy your own brooches and just diy customize your own socks i have that available my website is myroyalradiance.com free shipping excellent customer service if i say so myself now i'm also making a second teddy bear 
because what I like to do on my socks, I kind of like to have the same gems on each sock or the same brooches on each sock, one of each. So I'm making two of the glitter bears. Now my cousin, he told me that, um, cause this first pair is for my cousin. He told me that he likes um, purple. So I'm going to make him that purple bear and the purple globes are for his socks. My other cousin, she told me I could do whatever I want. So I went with a gold thing for hers. You'll see her sock the second half of this video. So I'm just topping this UV resin off in this little mold that you can get on Amazon. Mostly everything here that I use, I get from Amazon. So I'll make sure that I do have links available for you. So you'll just watch me make my, um, finish making these bears. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything on you guys. Again, I'm using that Bob Smith. It's about 12 bucks on Amazon. It works amazing. Or you can use E6000, but E6000, you still need a good 24 hours for that to fully, fully cure. This is a three hour full cure, you guys. So that's the difference. And this is twice or four or three times the amount of E6000. So that's another thing to consider, but it works very good. Just make sure your hands don't touch it because your hands will be stuck to whatever you're using. I've gotten pretty good with it, so I don't use gloves. Um, but I wouldn't use it to apply rhinestones because if you slip up some type of way, it everything will be extremely cloudy and there's no turning back. So now I'm just gonna start adding on my brooches. This is the fun part. If you didn't wanna see me making my brooches and getting the prep work done, you can just skip right to this area of the video because this is where I'm gonna put everything on. Okay, so I wanna say, it may look like everything is close and tight and all up on each other, but no, no, no. See how I have that, that sock scrunched? I actually found a decent vendor on um, Alibaba.com. These socks are very long. They're on the thicker side. In my opinion, they're thicker than the ones I was finding at the hair store when I was still getting my practice on, you know? I found some that are long and thick. So these socks, I don't know if you can see how much they're scrunched, you want to get the display so you can scrunch them and see how everything is gonna be once the person puts them on and scrunch them, this is how they'll look. But if you try to add everything on while the sock isn't scrunched, I don't know how that will work. But I think if you kinda go with like a, a you could either go like a column or a brick layer, it's up to you. Um, some people don't put as many things on, some people put a whole lot on. So it really depends on the look or the vibe you're going for. And as far as pricing, um, I charge 25. These were my cousins. I charged them 20, but it's going to have to be 25 because, you know, I, I put a little work in when I'm making the customized, um, brooches because I can customize. I have so many glitters. I, I can customize pretty well for just about anything. And my creativity is there, you know, so. And these aren't just the hair store socks. I actually took my time and found a vendor and I bought like in bulk. Um, some socks and actually I'm going to just start freestyling some socks and add them to my website I've just been so busy with other things that I'm doing But that is something that I want to do and people have been requesting that you guys so Junk socks will be coming to my website um, already completed, but right now I have brooches so you can complete your own um, But yes 
25, I think, as far as, okay, so I just did a pair for my other cousin. That's another video I have to do down the line. She wanted super glam glam. So I added some more uh, bigger pieces, some more expensive chains that I had. There was a pair that went viral on TikTok where the lady styled them with some boots. And she had some long rhinestone chains hanging. I went a little extra with those and I charged her 30 for those. But I've seen people charge as much as 40 or 50. I don't think I would get that far as the pricing goes. I think 25. I think 20 is decent depending upon what all you put on it. Because everyone's socks doesn't have to have a whole bunch of stuff on it. I've seen socks that are cute and dainty. But they just had like a pearl, like pearls all over them. Just a simple single pearl all over. And it was just the cutest thing. So I would say starting at 20 um, up to maybe 30 or 35, depending upon what all you put on there. And then if it's something that you can do and customize that nobody else really have, price your price know your worth and people are willing to pay i've seen people are willing to pay a really decent price okay so here is the second sock for my other cousin i told you guys i just went with the nice little gold theme i have this mold is from um, amazon and it's like a small medium and a large uh, perfume bottle i'm using the medium this glitter i'm using is a confetti glitter also from uh, Michael's craft store I love these perfume bottles um, sometimes I'll go ahead and cut out um, a Chanel logo or something I didn't do all that this time the bottle by itself with the glitter was cute and it was doing enough for me at the time but um, this is what I'm talking about if you're taking time and you're making your brooches and you're customizing based on people's colors or if you get fancy enough to be able to do custom football teams or if you're adding people pictures, whatever you're doing, I feel like nobody can really tell you how much you can charge. You know what I'm saying? If you're going all out and really getting down with the customized, like custom, custom, like nobody has this. Now, there's a lot of like basic brooches. People could just get on Sheen or get whatever and everybody kind of pretty much has the same things going on. But if you make your stand out, um, you can get the price up there, I would say. Especially if you have a good quality sock. These socks are very long. And I've been seeing people style them different. And I thought that was just so different when that lady on TikTok styled hers with like some shorts. They weren't shorts though. It was like some really cute knee-high boots. But the short, but the boots weren't up to the knee. They were calf. They were calf length boots because you could. She had the socks pulled up high enough. I don't know, but it was like really cute. I'm sure some of y'all know what I'm talking about. But I'll show it to you in my next video. But I like this black and gold. I also like white and gold. But she wanted a black sock. But these are like really cute. Again, you can get these safety pins from Sheen or Timu. I didn't like the prices of these safety pins on um on Alibaba. I haven't found a decent vendor on there yet. They were talking about like four dollars, like three dollars for four pins. And that just was not a good deal to me. But they were cute, but that just wasn't a good deal. So until then, I'll just keep getting them off Timu. The brooch I'm putting on right there, I made that one myself, and I have it um available on myrollradiance.com. Um but the sock is coming together. It's fairly simple. You make your brooches or you buy them, you know, whatever you do. And you just put them on, space them out really good. Make sure everything is sturdy. Make sure nothing is falling off. Make sure nothing is getting snagged. And you just, you just go with your creativity. You just go with your creativity. If you want to pay someone to make your socks, fine. If not, buy your own brooches to make your own because the girlies are getting really creative with the socks.
Okay, you guys, here is the final finished result of the first pair of the junk socks that I did um, for my cousin whose favorite color is purple. I think these turned out really nice. And here is the back of the socks. Um, these are cute. Um, they're fairly simple, but they also have that glam to them. Um, they have the spikes, the pearls, the safety pins, the glitter domes. Um, it also has that almond shaped gem that has like a hint of purple going on. They're very cute. My cousin loved his socks. He really did. And these are the other pair of socks I made. Um, I love the gold. I really favor these a little bit more because of the gold and because of the perfume bottles. My cousin loved her socks as well. She wore hers on her birthday. And just to give you an idea, my cousin that these socks are for, I think she just turned 59, but she's a fly girl. She's 59 and she's rocking her junk socks, okay? My other cousin that the other pair was for, he's 33. I think he's 33. I've made junk socks for as young as... How old was my friend's daughter? I've made them for as young as like an eight-year-old. So people are into the junk socks, okay? All ages. And these, these are fun to make because it's like literally so many different ways that you can make them. And I do want to do a very toned down pair with just like pearls, you know? Also, eventually I'll have to do a video showing how to wash them because that's one of the main questions I keep seeing. How do you wash them? So for these socks, everything is removable. So I would just say remove everything, remove the brooches and wash them or leave everything on and just soak them. Do a gentle soak and like um, get like a bowl with some soap and some water. Gently soak them, wring them out at the bottom and just let them hang up somewhere and drip dry. I think that's the best option, but people like to see. Um, so I have to do like a demonstration to like really show you know, um, the next socks I'm doing, I'm trying something different, y'all, because I see people just been gluing the stuff right up on the socks. So the next pair of socks that I make, I'm actually going to be gluing the pieces on and doing brooches. So um, that's going to be really interesting as well. And I actually like that look better because I felt like I could fill the sock up with even more stuff. But thanks, you guys, for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Um, share it on Facebook. Subscribe if you'd like to. And thanks so much for hey watching guys, my channel. My website, MyRoyalRadiance.com. And there's always a coupon code available with a special discount. Royal Beauty 10 off. Use it today. We have some updated styles of luxury inspired faux leather fabric. And when you buy three sheets of fabric, you'll get the fourth one free of charge. We also have these beautiful iron on patches available and these beautiful planner charms that are so versatile. You can use these to decorate your cell phone cases, compact mirrors, or you can turn these into brooches or crop charms. More beautiful sparkly gold iron-on patches for your Crocs or denim jackets. And the latest item we have are the brooches for the slouch socks. We also have luxury inspired Crocs charms. Iron-on transfers are also available. Check out our website, see our tactical defense, where we do have in waistband gun holsters, belly bands, magnetic holsters, and a lot more.